Today we're diving into one of the most beautiful destinations in Turkey, Antalya. Hello, my name is Alfredo and this is Off The Strip. I introduce you to places to spend off the Las Vegas Strip or take you on one of my adventures. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. Today is our first full day in Turkey, specifically Antalya. Did you know Turkey is the only country in the world that straddles two continents, Europe and Asia? Also, Turks introduced the world to coffee. So we're having Turkish coffee in Antalya, Turkey. It's really nice, it's smooth. There's a, there's a flavor. I don't know what the flavor is, but it's, it's smooth. Antalya is a stunning city on Turkey's southwest coast known as the Turkish Riviera. So we are exploring the old bazaar. It's pretty cool, lots of little, little alleys and, and shops. The old town, also known as Khaleesi. Walking through Khaleesi is like wandering through a time capsule. Cobblestone streets, old Ottoman houses, and hidden gardens everywhere. You can literally feel the history all around you. <sighs> Super humid in Antalya or by the ocean. I mean, wow. So we found the harbor. The harbor is where old meets new in the best way possible. Back in Roman times, this was one of the most important ports in the Mediterranean. Now it's a vibrant marina where you can chill by the water, watch boats sail in and out, or even take a cruise yourself. It is so hot, but there's a nice ocean breeze. And look, I really want to go swimming with these people because it's so hot. Hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and tell me in the comments, is this a place you would like to visit? We just had a really good lunch at this place. Um, that fish, that rock or stone sea bass. Oh, wow. All right, so we're heading back to the bazaar and do some souvenir shopping but wow look at this place. Khaleesi is still surrounded by remnants of ancient city walls that date back to Roman, Byzantine and Seljuk periods. These walls once protected the city from invaders and parts of them are still standing today giving you a glimpse of Antalya's fortified past. And here we are at Hadrian's Gate in Antalya, Turkey. This one is for the history buffs. Hadrian's Gate is an epic Roman arch built in 130 AD. It was built to honor the Roman Emperor Hadrian when he visited the city. For centuries, Hadrian's Gate was buried underground. Over time, the city built around it and it wasn't until the early 20th century that the lower sections were excavated, revealing the ancient beauty we see today. This is the cross and the hill that he was crucified in Jerusalem. And this is the cross that he was crossing. And also you can see small scale, but also you see the arms here. All the houses in this old town, restored, all original. So this house is 2.5 million euros. Khaleesi is packed with history, featuring ancient Ottoman era houses and Roman ruins. Owning property here is like owning a piece of history, which adds to the significant value. Let's not forget the mosque. Antalya's mosques are a mix of stunning architecture and spiritual vibes. Located in the heart of Antalya's old town, this mosque is known for its stunning tile work. Built in the 17th century during the Ottoman period, its interior is adorned with intricate blue Iznik tiles, a hallmark of Ottoman craftsmanship. Next, we head over to the Keswick Minaret Mosque, also known as the Broken Minaret. It is one of the most intriguing landmarks in Antalya's old town. It's not just a mosque though, it's a building that's worn many hats over the centuries. It started as a Roman temple in the second century. Later, it was transformed into a Byzantine church dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Then after the Ottoman conquest, it became a mosque in the 13th century. So this site has been a place of worship for three different religions. The Keswick, which means broken in Turkish, comes from the fact that its minaret was partially destroyed by a fire in the 19th century. Instead of rebuilding it, the minaret was left incomplete, giving the mosque its unique name. It's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, iconic because of its flaw. So 
so we're in a very commercial part of Old Town. Lots of bars, restaurants, pubs. We found a modern street inside Old Town's Antalya. This narrow street is packed with history and charm with modern restaurants, bars, and cozy cafes. This street is only steps away from the broken minaret. It's also known for its vibrant atmosphere blending historic landmarks with modern hangouts. As you walk down the cobblestone streets, you'll find hidden gems, gardens, colorful shops, and even spots where locals have been gathering for centuries. After a full day of exploring Antalya's old town, there's no better way to end the day than watching a beautiful sunset over the city. The sky turns pink, orange, and purple. Honestly, it's like Antalya was telling us, good job, you've had an epic day. But the day is not over yet. Antalya's nightlife is just as vibrant as its history. Whether you're into fine dining, cozy local spots, or just want to grab a drink, Antalya has it all. One of the best things about Antalya is how safe and welcoming it feels. The people here are friendly and always ready to help with a smile or offer a recommendation on where to eat next. And there's just a relaxed vibe that makes you feel right at home even if it's your first time here. So right now we're just looking for that one seat with all the restaurants that look really good. So we found a place, now we're just looking for a place to eat. All these places look really good. From the fascinating mix of ancient ruins, beautiful beaches, and lively streets filled with culture, Antalya truly has something for everyone. It's a place where you can immerse yourself in history, soak up the sun, and experience warm hospitality all in one go. So whether you're a history buff, a beach lover, or just looking for a city with a blend of adventure and relaxation, Antalya is the perfect destination. Safe, beautiful, and full of life. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. See you in the next adventure.